Hi, my name is Max Swigler. I'm the Vice President of Professional Services at Indigov. I work in government offices every day. I'm on the Hill every day. Uh, and I work closely with all staffers from all levels of government to develop effective communication strategies. Effective communication is what's going to make you successful. In fact, everything in your office revolves around good communication. Poor communication can have serious consequences, though. It can damage your reputation. It can destroy relationships with colleagues and folks on the Hill. Um, and it can lead to missed opportunities for engagement with constituents in your district. So today I'm gonna to talk about some common mistakes I've seen when new offices are setting up their plans for communication uh, and talk about some strategies to mitigate those risks. First mistake we see new members make is burning down what came before you. Certainly there are some changes you're gonna to wanna to implement on day one, but don't ignore the past either. If you reframe what came before your members arrival, even if it's poorly or inadequately done, as information, you can learn a lot about what has worked and what hasn't. Treat what exists as a helpful foundation where the good bits should be expanded and extended and the bits that haven't worked so well should be changed or discontinued. Mistake number two, you spend all this time putting together the best team you possibly can filled with experts and expertise, but you don't spend any time focused on where all that information is gonna live. The most significant intellectual asset of any congressional office is its people but turnover is increasingly more common. And oftentimes a lot of that knowledge leaves with that person when they walk up the door. So take a moment to really focus on what your system or sources of record are gonna be. Where is that information gonna be captured and who's responsible for capturing it? If you're not sure, go talk to other offices that have served previously or hire someone who has experience overseeing knowledge capture or knowledge management program. Third mistake we often see is folks set their goals and then forget about it. You're going to be scrambling to set up offices in DC and in the district, uh, and hopefully you document some goals for the staff in those offices, such as maybe a certain engagement goal like securing newsletter subscribers or responding to incoming mail within a certain period of time. Um, but too often we see folks set those goals and then they don't really spend any time figuring out how they're going to capture whether or not they've done that. So we'll see the offices that are two, maybe three months in, and they don't have any means for tracking on how they're doing. You wouldn't set a GPS for a road trip and not look at it for three hours. But we see offices do that time and time again. Create a culture of reporting on goals frequently. Hold staff accountable to progress reports and designate time for strategy sessions when you see results trending in the wrong direction. Engage with technology providers and ask how they can provide you with the ability to configure those reports and dashboards to make your work easy to track and disseminate to your staff. In closing, I want to thank you all for the time today. I want to wish you good luck in the new year, and I look forward to seeing you on the Hill.